kids out there, this show's specially for you. I guess you grown-ups will like it, too. Hi, Vanessa. Where are you going? Oh, nowhere. Why do you have ice skates? Okay, I'm going ice skating. Can I come? Rudy, you wouldn't like it. There'll be a lot of big people there, and you could get bumped around. I don't care. You could fall on the freezing cold ice and catch pneumonia. I don't care. Your ankles aren't strong enough. They're going to swell up, and you won't be able to walk for a week. I don't care. <laughs> Rudy, everyone there is going to be 11, and you wouldn't have any fun. Tell you what, I'll take you sledding tomorrow. Thanks, Mom. See you later. Hey, Rudy. Do you want to play? I'm sorry, I really can't. I have something very important to discuss with Dad. Have you seen him? Dad's busy. Doing what? Cleaning the stove. Did he say he'd like some help? No. Good. <laughs> hey, Dad, how's it going? Fine. Almost finished? Finished. Hey, next time, ask me. I would have been happy to help. <laughs> What do you want? <laughs> well, Dad, you know next Saturday is the booster banquet for the football team. Yeah, your mother and I bought two tickets for it. Well, can you buy a couple of more? See, everybody on the team has to sell ten. How many have you sold? Counting you? Uh-huh. Two. <laughs> well, how many people have you asked? Counting you? Yeah. Two. Two. <laughs> Son, you're supposed to go outside of the house. But I figure you can ask some of the doctors over at the hospital. Ask some of the doctors over at the hospital. Ask some of the doctors over the... That's all you people ever think about in this house. Every time you have something to sell, it's getting so... I walk in the doctor's lounge, they say, uh-oh, here's Huckster Huxtable, and they dive under the sofa. Dad, I'm telling you, it's going to be a great thing. After dinner, they're going to show a film of the season's highlights. See, this is going to be a short film. As a, as a matter of fact, there's no, no sense even turning the lights off. <laughs> now, look, do me a favor. I forgot to I put the thing in backwards. So just put those things in for me. Thank you. Hello? This is Rudy. Rudy Huxtable. I live in New York City. Uh, yes, uh, pardon me, please. Hello? Hi. Uh, uh, this is Rudy's father. Well, how is the weather in Ireland? <laughs> uh, she's five. Oh, you do? No, no, thank you. I don't. I don't want to talk to Sean. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you. And top of the morning to you too. <laughs> Honey, I thought I said to you. But the rules of the house state that you do not pick up that phone and dial unless someone helps, helps you. you. That's right. What's the matter? Come on. I'm bored. Really? <laughs> I've got over $3 million worth of books I bought in your room. I'm not into reading today. You're not, you're not into reading today? <laughs> Well, what about drawing some letters, some A's, some B's? I did that already. What about playing with Dad? I'll be your friend. Can my friend Maria come over? <laughs> what do you mean, your friend Maria? I'm your friend. No, you're my daddy. Are you kidding me? Daddies make the best friends. Why do you think dogs always hang out with them? <laughs> Can Maria sleep over? Well, I'll ask... Maria's mother and father. Can a few other friends sleep over? Sure. You want to fly in, Sean, from Ireland? <laughs> All right, guys, get ready to go. Dad said I can have a few friends sleep over. You're going to have some of her friends sleep over tonight? Well, dear, didn't you always say that we should entertain more? <laughs> but tonight? Cliff, you know I'm not coming home until late. Listen, I can handle it by myself. <laughs> All right, I'll get Rudy's class list. It has the parents' names and numbers on it. Hi. My favorite daughter. What's up? We're having some friends over for dinner. Like you to pitch in. Great. Who's coming? All some lively guests. 